place called Cowboy Hi. Felicia Jim congratulations first of all very very successful what is Cowboy Up? Cowboy Up is a country bar but it's really more about the entertainment um, when we opened Cowboy Up we wanted to make a commitment to have this to be a, to be a place where everybody could enjoy it um, all ages um, very comfortable very safe very friendly um, and you know just have fun well you guys because I was telling you earlier Jim you know you guys are having fun yourself you're kind of like the host and the host is not the bosses you know you, you kind of greet everybody coming in personally this is the perfect job in the world to have I mean I where else do I get to go to work drink beer and dance with a beautiful young woman you know what I'm saying because that, that was the hardest part, getting you guys off the dance floor just to stand here and talk to me. Because you're really enjoying this. and I mean, We want to have fun with our customers. You know, our, our employees are part of Air Cowboy Up family, but so are our customers. And it's, uh, we, we love to meet everybody. We love to enjoy it with them. Uh, it's a lot of hard work because you don't see what happens behind the scenes. But while we're out here, we're having fun, and we hope our customers are too. Well, the thing about it is, because we talk about it being, because I, uh, being a Texas boy, I walk through the door here, and I'm like, I'm home. You know, this, because you really, you really created that Texas, you know, style country saloon. And when I say that, the food, my God, you know, people don't realize when you're coming down to Cowboy Up, you got to check out the food. Yes, it's very, very good. Um, and we're adding to that menu. It's not done yet. So uh, we're very pleased and we, our customers give us great feedback. We try to take that feedback and make the changes where we can. It's just been a wonderful experience. It's hard to believe we're just going on two months. Yeah, and the thing about it is, I want to tell everybody, what a dance floor, and I, I got to give you credit, because I know when you're doing something, you're doing it on your own. You were down there nailing some dance floor down. I did all 675 square feet on my knees, and they're still killing me, trust me. We had, but, we had but so we had many to. during the summer. We lived here with our family and our friends, and we couldn't have done it without them. They, they were here, sacrificed a lot of time to help us renovate, and oh, it's all paid off. Now we got to enjoy it. Yeah, you and you got one of the largest dance floors because I've I've been to Gillies, I've been to Billy Bob's of Texas, which is the world's largest honky tonk. And you, your dance floor, I'm telling you, is out there. Yeah, it's, it's a good sized dance floor. Now I've been to those places too. Now their dance floors are about the size of our facility, but it's, and more. Yeah, right. But for Delaware, I mean, this is the biggest in the state, and we always have a full one, and it's always a good time. So we, we re tried to recreate the environment because we met in this building 18 years ago. Oh, God bless. When it was a country bar called Arizona's. And so it was like coming home again. So we tried to create the dance floor like it was when we met here. And it, we got pretty close. Yeah, I tell you, you did a great job with it. The people really seem to enjoy it. Entertainment-wise, let's talk about it, because you got different things going different nights. Um, um, well, tonight we have a wonderful band called Mason Dixon. But we have a lot of great bands. Um, but we have an Elvis tribute coming up. We do the Mechanical Bowl. Uh, we just try to bring a lot 
to Dover so people can come in and have a good time. We just got cornholes, so we might have cornhole tournaments coming up and a shuffleboard. So we hope you come here and you just have a good time and find something to do. You know, and now I know that you're doing the dancing on the weekends, DJing and the bands, you know, but you got a couple other things, karaoke and everything. We have karaoke and it's wonderful um, to have just such a great mix of entertainment. And, and I think what really just, we've had so many customers and we thought it would be a problem at first because we do enforce a, a dress code. It's not too strict, but, and, uh, you know, we do um, ask that people go through a scanner on the weekends. But the response from the public has been wonderful because they feel so comfortable and safe when they come in here that we've taken a couple extra steps so that they can be comfortable. And yeah, now, how do you do a cowboy place to say no hats? <laughs> Hats are always allowed because you'll never see me without one. What, but if it's a ball cap, brim forward is the only thing we worried about. So. Yeah, I know in Texas you go into them, they don't touch a man's hat. Don't they? You got that? Right? <laughs> yeah, all, you, all you city folk when you're coming down this way, you know, look at them tomorrow, but don't touch a man's hat. No. You got you, you lots of luck. I want to tell people though, you got to definitely check out the food. You got great lunches. You start lunch, dinner. Lunch, dinner. We're doing some Christmas parties. And and how much fun can a party be when you come in and the dance floor is always open? We do line dance instruction. Um, it's just fun. It's just there's something for everybody. Now to get here, you know, it's it's in Dover. I know that. You give me an idea. Website. Our website will be up soon. But right now we're on Cowboy Up Saloon on Facebook. And we're about a half a mile north of Dover Air Force Base, right off of Bay Road on 1036 Lafferty Lane. So, yeah, so you folks up in Wilmington, the middle town, towns in Odessa area, you got to check it out. And I've, you know, I've got to say the words out there because I've been telling people, but I, I, I've been telling people we're coming to Cowboy Up. So the words out, people are knowing about it. Tonight we're showing it to you. Right now it's time for us to go check out some more of the Mason Dixon. You guys hit the dance floor. station. Well, first of all, let me stop in down here and tell you where we're at. We're at Timothy's on the waterfront, and this is a big party going on. And the, the party, party going uh, on, uh, the party's going on. <laughs> and of course, Mr. Charles Potter here with me. Uh, you know, when you talk about it, congratulations, first of all. You 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 sealed your seat in the primaries. That's correct. And uh, our whole team, from Mayor Williams to uh, County Exec Gordon to County Council President Chris Bullock, to Justin Wright, to Trippy Congo, to Bob Williams, to Sheila Dorsey, everybody. It's been a great night, and we're just waiting on our president to finish the night off for us. Yeah, when, when you talk about that, because, you you know, we, I, I, I have, I've been trying to keep up with the election. You go, you're going to give me a better, you know, because you know, I know right now Tom's won. We know that. He, he is he in. Won, Mr. Yes. Gordon is in the office. Yes. How about Mr. Williams? Mr. Williams is in. Yeah, so he's he, in. He, he won in the primaries like you, I believe. He won in the primary. He had a write-in candidate. But as you can see, the numbers were tremendous. It's not even close. Yeah, and then, of course, now let's go on to Mr. Bullock, one of my favorite people out here. You know, how's he doing? He's doing great. It's all over. He's going to end up winning about 60-some percent, about 30-some percent. Him and Tom Gordon. Of course, me as state rep, I didn't have anybody. So usually I always have a primary challenger, which I, did, I have. But as far as the general, I'm in. 
Well, you got to be excited because, you know, you guys, it was like a team that united. And, you know, Tom Gordon got involved, you got involved, Tippy got involved, like all the people that you mentioned. And you kind of went against the old good old boy network and said, we're going to take this. Well, you know, we're the people's choice, and that's what it is. Um, we're going to work with everybody, but, you know, there's some new leadership, and we that levels the playing field. So that's what we're going to do to work in the best interest of the people, the city, county, the state. We're all working together and that things get distributed equally throughout this state. Yeah, and I want to tell people that don't know uh, uh, Mr. Potter here and as far as what he's done, you know, serving on city council. I see this guy there representing the people. You were always, you and Tippy both were always, whenever something was going on, you guys were at the forefront supporting the, what, what the people wanted. Well, I want to thank Tim Quarles because he's done a great job years and years. One of the largest TV television producers. When I saw his TV shows, our name is quite similar. I'm positive images and you're positive. Promotion. Promotion, so we keep it positive. There you go. And that's what it's all about. And thank God for everything. Couldn't done it without the Lord. There you go. I, I right. praise that too. Thanks Lots of luck to you, buddy. All right. We're stepping around the party. I, I got him. He's been mobbed by everybody. And the only way I can talk to him is drag him into this room. Congratulations. Uh, it's not over yet, but I, I think it is. So It looked like uh, we had a pretty good lead, 21 and a half points or something like that. I'm very proud of having a mandate. and uh, I'm just uh, happy to be here. And uh, look well, you got to be tickled to death. All that you've been through, and, and I told people this when I interviewed you way back then through my support, and, and I, you know, I've been doing this for 20-something years, and I've never said, this is the guy you had to vote for, except yeah. when you came along. Because I, I knew you then, I, I, and I know what kind of man you are. I watched you after you were out of office, how you still participated, and you were still involved with the community. And that's, that was important, and I thought it was very – and tonight, it showed, Tom. That's what it was all about. Yeah, you and I have been good friends for a long time, and I want to never forget it. And I appreciate it, and I love your show. And yeah, we do. But, but as far as the people, they, they really stepped up tonight because they, yeah. they saw well, that, too. I, we had polled early and saw that we had good numbers without doing anything. It was, uh, it was uh, heartwarming to see that. And we really didn't do much in the second half of this race. So it was glad to see we had a mandate. The mandate's very important. Yeah, now, now comes the, because this yours is completely different from everybody else because now you, you, you don't get that little bit of a vacation here. <laughs> and that little, you, you, Second largest government in the state in a week. Yeah, so you, you immediately go in, and that, 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 let's explain to the people what that why that was, because it, Clark was appointed. Or Apparently the uh, law says if you're appointed to the office, as uh, Paul Clark was, uh, you uh, take office one week after the election, as opposed to January 12th or whatever it was. Now you'd see a pretty smooth transition going on there? Yeah, well, there won't be any transition because you don't have any time, but I've done it before for eight years, and I certainly know how to do it so I'm, yeah. I'm not nervous about it yeah and I, I know a lot of people you know one of the big issues is everybody's talking about it, and I know before when you were in there that big land I was telling people I got I still have that land use bill that you 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 put through and that was an important issue that you want to get back out there be sure that people's homes are protected from somebody else coming and building something beside them that shouldn't be built there yeah we've got a lot of work to do in the land use area we've got a lot of ground to cover to get it back under control and it's a, it's a hell of a challenge but uh we're going to assemble a good team and get it done. Now you got to be excited because I was talking to Mr. Potter now, and, and this is this is the remarkable thing. You guys went out of the realm. I don't want to say you went away from the Democratic Party, but you guys went away, you know, out on the realm, and you had a team there, Mr. Bullock, Mr. Potter, yourself, Trippy Congo, these guys, and you guys united and said we're going to work together when we get there, and we're going to make this state a better place. Pretty much the party caused that, and they lost. I mean, they they uh, created a situation where they. They endorsed their candidates early on, didn't give anybody an opportunity, and they lost most of their candidates. So yeah, yeah. it shouldn't be that way, and unfortunately that's what happened, but it formed a good bond between our, our unaligned candidates, and we, uh, we, we'll keep that bond. Surprise, surprise, because, you know, it, it just tells, the, it me, it tells me the people want to change. They, they, they want to change in the state. The good old boy network's been here for so long. They wanted to see a change. And they brought back, I think, one of the best leaders because I, when you were there, always I, I used to bug you when you're going to run for governor, you know, and I always bugged you about that because you did such a great job. And, I, and a lot, so many people came up to me after our interview and was talking to me about your libraries, the park that you did, because a lot of people didn't realize that you know you're the, you put the initiative behind all that. Yep, and I we made that point on your show and. And that certainly helped getting that message out. But I know, I know you got a crowd. My second campaign manager came in here right now. And, Thank uh, you very much. It yeah. was a tough fight. We all worked together as a team to get where we're at, 
and we're going to continue working as a team. There's no doubt in my mind he's the only county exec, as far as I know, who's been elected three times. Yeah, well, that's a, that's a record. And, and the only county executive that never raised taxes either. I want to remind everybody about that. You know? And he also uh, you raised the elderly uh, exemptions. Twice. Well, he looks out for the, I happen to be when, when, it, when, it, when it comes to it. Yeah, yeah, when it comes to it. I mean, I've known the man for since he first went into office, and he's done it. He, he cares about the people, Tom. And I, I, I saw that when you were, because it comes from that being that police force and being our protector out there. You know, you brought all that, and, he, and the people really stepped up, and they said, hey, we want a good man back in office. In a good way. I'm very humble, very proud, and looking forward to it. You got to be. Where's your daughter? I know she's crying someplace. Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I think this was a lot easier on her once yeah. you get past that primary. Yeah, well, she finally realized that you were back. You know, uh, we, like, yeah, we yeah. pretty much thought we had a, we had a good. If you look at these numbers. What they say to me is that we want Tom Gordon. There's no doubt. At the last time I noticed, he has 60 some percent of the vote. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we know we know you're gonna win, and you know we're gonna let you get back to the party, my friend. We're there for anything that you need. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Tom FM, playing whatever we want. say welcome to Vincenza first. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for coming. You, you are always so involved with everything. It's just, so, you know, you did miss Delaware. You represented the state great. But you don't quit. I, I told you that last time. You got me back here. We're talking, you know, we're, we're at Skyline, you know, which is a great establishment. Yes, it's, a, it's just a beautiful establishment. And the fact that they, that they hands down have no problems with hosting our fundraisers and our events. They're, they're just great to partner with. So if you're ever interested in hosting a fundraiser, Skyline Grill is the place to be. Yeah, because I'm going to talk to Chris here in a little bit about the Skyline Grill because I'm telling you, but tonight's special, and I, I love what you guys are doing because it, I love what you did with the promotion and everything. You got a lot of people out tonight, breast cancer awareness. Yes, for breast cancer awareness month, October, as everyone knows. But we're here actually in honor of Team Vicki Moeller. She's here today, and hopefully we'll be able to catch up with her and talk to her a little bit, and she'll share her story with her and how she's a cancer, breast cancer survivor. So we're honoring her today, and also all survivors and patients and anyone that's suffering or has suffered from breast cancer. So we're here supporting it, wearing our pink outfits, pink hair. Big, big or small, want to save them all. That, yes, I, big I, or small. Let's save them all. I, I love that. I would say, you know, I, I thought that way. It, it couldn't get any cuter than that. But you know, when you when you're talking about this, because you get a lot of turnout. Social media is really working. So if people want to get involved with what you're doing, it's not hard to do. Follow you. Absolutely. Honestly, just the turnout tonight. It keeps growing and growing. Every fundraiser that I've organized, from my personal experience, people follow because they like the mission, the cause. We're all together and that's the key word the key phrase coming together to make a difference and that's why everyone's following and we're all here helping each other make a difference in the world it becomes a family I see a lot of the people supporting different causes but it's a lot of them is the same people but becoming more and more closer with each other you see a lot of familiar faces and new faces which is the plus side of it when you see the familiar faces and the new faces coming that means that everyone's supporting it and everyone's having a good time. We're having a blast. We're not only making a difference, we're dancing. 
amazing. We're drinking. We're eating so well. We're at 50-50 raffles, silent auctions, pink hair extensions, Hocas and Day Spa is doing $10 massages. We get ribbons. I mean, there's so many fun activities happening well, I here. want you to do me a favor because you've been hosting things for a long time. I want you to chit-chat with our cancer survivor, do a little interview with her. I think that's a great idea. I'm going to go look for her and then we'll bring her right back to you. share her story and why we are here today at Skyline Grill honoring her. So Vicki, tell us, tell me about what you've been through and tell me that how you're a survivor of breast cancer. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in April 2011 after self-examination, finding the, the um, lump myself. Um, I went through two surgeries, chemotherapy and radiation. Um, and with the love and support of my husband and my kids and my family and my faith, we were we overcome and I am now a survivor. We are here tonight to raise a cause for this amazing, you know, thing tonight. Um, I cannot stress how important it is to do self-examinations, to get your mammograms. If everybody does that and we continue to support this cause, we will find a cure sooner and save more lives and have more birthdays. And it doesn't matter how old you are, correct? It does not discriminate. Cancer does not discriminate, it affects everyone. So, yes, Jocelyn, as growing up with this, how do you feel that your mom is a survivor? What is it, how has it changed you? Um, it made me feel better. I want to help breast cancer more. Good, right. So we're all here for the same reason and for the same cause. Are there, is there anything else you'd like to say for anyone that is going through this and maybe don't know, they don't know how to handle this pressure? Talk to your family, your friends, call the Cancer Society, get to support. There's tons of people who will help you through it. Just don't close up, stay open and accept the help. Thank you so much. We're so happy to honor you here and other breast cancer survivors and patients. Thank you so much. Hi, and I want to introduce you guys to Chris. He's the GM here at Skyline Grill. You've got to be excited. I mean, what you guys have to offer, I just got through finished eating just an appetizer. Good food, man. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. We have a great time here. We have a good spot. We can host a lot of private parties uh, like we're doing tonight. Any of your holiday parties, big birthday parties, we can accommodate you. We don't require a deposit. All we need is your word. Uh, we can work with you food, food and drink packages, just food, just drink, anything you want. We can take care of you here at the Skyline Grill. Yeah, I'm telling you, because I came over here, I love this, because on the other side, you got a full house over there, but this is a private party that welcomes the other side to join into it as well. But yeah, tonight, is, it's a little bit different for breast cancer tonight. But you guys, if you've got a, somebody out there wants a holiday party, book it now. Book it now. We can accommodate up to 150 people. And 302-525-6007, uh, call us, we'll book it today for you. Now I tell you what I like best is the food. People, I'm telling you, the food here is, I, I just can't say enough about it. Everything I've ever had, it's just great food. Well we get everything fresh every day. Tony, our owner, that's pretty much what he does. He runs around, he gets our seafood from Sansone's in Wilmington. Bill's Market for our beef, Pachetti's. Yeah, I, was, I, I, I ran into him at Pachetti's. That's how I found out that this was going on tonight. And uh, what a great guy. I mean, Tony and his wife are doing a fantastic job. But if you want a private party, it's separated. So you can have it private, but yet you're, the people can still mingle with the other people. You're, you're, you're in the party, but you're also separate. And then we can, you know, we can do anything. We can accommodate pretty much all any of your needs. Yeah, food-wise, so if you want a buffet, they can do that. I've seen that. Yeah, we can we can do a buffet. We offer a pretty good package. We will recommend, you know, sesame crusted ahi tuna, London broil sandwiches, and chicken skewers. And we can do that for a very very reasonable price. 
Yeah, a range of music, the whole works, whatever people need. You've got it right here. Give Chris a call. Chris, thanks you for your time. Thank you very much.